Well, West Angeles, every now and then a life emerges into the earth, assigned with the task of impacting and changing the status quo. This morning, we pause to remember an individual whose life and legacy will live on in our hearts and in the annals of time regarding his tremendous contribution to gospel music. An unsung hero in many regards, but one who paved the way for many like myself and all of those that are in the music ministry to reach beyond the norm, to present an uncommon and unique sound, one which was not initially received, yet one that was needful to advance the kingdom of God. That mandate was executed by former minister of music and West Angeles' own Minister Patrick Henderson. Patrick served here in the music ministry for over 20 years. And although he was responsible for the entire music department, his darling was the sanctuary choir. And in 1981, it was the sanctuary choir that recorded the iconic project, Look to Jesus. Well, the Look to Jesus proj project set a new paradigm of musical excellence as it was listed and marketed as a rock, funk, soul pop album, which attracted those who were not familiar with the church or traditional gospel music. And they listened and they were blessed and they received the message of salvation through this particular project. Come on, let's thank God for that innovation. That was because of Patrick reaching beyond the norm, pushing the proverbial envelope to provide traction for the kingdom of God. In 1987, Patrick got under the mandate of then Pastor Charles E. Blake Sr., who received a vision for another form and idiom of music to be reflected in the African-American church. That of you, the people, the parishioners, reclaiming congregational song from well-trained choirs and professional singers so that they themselves, you, all of us, could engage in singing our song unto the Lord. And although the idiom of praise and worship existed in other denominational constructs, it had not been fully embraced by classical Pentecostal circles, and in particular, the Church of God in Christ. Because of the pastor's vision, Patrick conceptualized and produced three additional award-winning projects, Saints in Praise, Volumes 1, 2, and 3, which literally took the black church by storm. Patrick's unique way of banging out a song on the keyboard while stomping with his left foot, uh-huh, was a sight to behold. And he always said that he was not the best vocalist, but how many of you can agree with me that he had an excellent way of communicating what he was attempting to convey? His life and contributions have left an indelible impact not only upon sacred music, but the secular music world as well. Well, Saints Patrick took his wings into eternity one week ago today, one day short of his 75th birthday. And so this morning in honor of his life and legacy, the music from this point on in our service has either been written or produced by Minister Patrick Henderson. Amen. Rest well, Pat. Your life and legacy will never be forgotten.
continue to remember Patrick Henderson this next medley was the first medley on Saints and Praise volume one and as you listen I think that you'll hear a familiar voice <laughs> <laughs> 